This conference will now be recorded. Am I audible, visible? Yes. Yes, sir. Yeah. Shall we start? Yes, and sorry, ninety members. Okay. Yes. Okay. So previously uh, we discussed uh, regarding uh, what are the various reproductive and uh, child health care services that is uh, RCHP. So we came to know that uh, there has been two phases in the RCH program that is RCH1 and RCH2 and uh, you know what are the things which have been included under RCH phase 1 and what are the things uh, which has been included under RCH phase 2. So what do you mean by uh, essential optical care, emergency optical care, what are the uh, prerequisites to set up a FRUs that is uh, uh, first referral units and uh, what are all the things to be taken care of to decrease both the mortalities that is uh, maternal mortality and uh, infant mortality rates and what are the norms set by the government through, implement, uh, through implementing uh, these programs and what are the beneficiary groups and what are the uh, services offered by under these uh, programs? What do you mean by Janani Suraksha Yojana? That is JSY. Uh, under those above poverty line and uh, below poverty line uh, countries, what are the uh, norms given to the ASHA worker or the mother as a honorium to promote the institutional deliveries? All these things has been discussed. And uh, we will go uh, today. We will go the upgradation of uh, this RCH. Okay, that is the uh, RMNCH plus A. Yeah. Can anybody explain uh, expand this uh, RMNCH plus A? Yeah. Anyone? You can message also. 
you can message us so what do you uh, by that term what do you understand by that term called rmnch reproductive okay maternal very good isha reproductive maternal neonatal child and adolescent health strategy please do remember the concept of this this is an upgradation of rch reproductive child health that is reproductive maternal neonatal child and adolescent health strategies that's how we have to expand it okay na clear so at the end of the session you people uh, should be able to know that what are all the uh, concepts which has been implemented through rmnch plus a and uh, how each one of us can contribute to this mission to improve the public health and to urge the research community to lead research initiatives in rmnch plus a so how this happened so uh, a summit uh, happened uh, in 2012 in washington dc along with india and ethiopia usa along with unicef more than 60 countries have been participated in that uh, in this global summit so along with the date also it has been given the main aim of this summit is to decrease the all kinds of mortalities in their countries mainly concentrated on maternal and under 5 mortalities so the the term the summit as a global global child survival call to action a promise to keep this is the slogan of the summit main a theme for the summit global child survival call to action a promise to keep this is where the birth of rmnch plus a to place okay you can see that uh, can you name the person can you name the person in the photograph anyone can you identify this has been taken in 2012 Am I am I audible? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Why nobody is responding? Him, Jyoti Prakash. Him respond at the level, Reverend. Group level, but the Saramman. Actually, win part is not. Let's say, Adi Adang is not. Okay. So, are you able to follow? everybody are you able to follow yes sir yes sir yeah good good so uh, yeah after this uh, meeting has taken place and in, in 2013 uh, so india so again uh, due to this call to child survival action uh, india has responded with the strategy name called rmnch plus a it's a 5 into 5 matrix t three tier system of uh, health planning system uh, you will uh, get to know what are all the things which have been included under this rmnch plus a but uh, this is how uh, the initiation of this program has taken place okay okay so india committed to raise global awareness of uh, child survival challenges and strategies bend the curve on child mortality that means to decrease to decrease the under 5 mortality rate 
and then focus on the special requirements of vulnerable and uh, marginalized population so vulnerable people people who are at risk below poverty line low educated uh, areas okay all these kind of uh, vulnerable groups and to prioritize convergence of child services under universal health coverage this is the term which is uh, gaining more popularity in these days that is uhc that is universal health coverage this is the uh, term which has been gaining the importance please do remember the word universal health coverage so under the part and parcel of this uh, universal health coverage to prioritize the convergence of child services or child uh, maternal and child health related services so india call to an action summit and uh, launch this program called rmnch plus a strategy in mahabalipuram february 2013 this is how This is how the initiation of program has took place. So what happens next? So, so this is the slogan. Ch Child survival call to action. Yeah. So so what happened after this summit so india has came up with a certain prioritization of rmnch and they included adolescent health also it is as a part and parcel of this reproductive and child health care program why they have included we will get to know all these things in coming slides okay so what uh, they have done is so state government so uh, partnership with, uh, along with the central funds state uh, governments also has to be uh, taken care of all these things so ministries dealing with the social departments of health then the state governments also involved in this so development of partners that means non governmental organizations ngos then uh, uh, academicians and researchers they have to evaluate their own program evaluation for the academicians and researchers also uh, they took partnership with them so they included even private sector also then civil society and uh, faith based organizations also they have included uh, under these things all these things grouped together and uh, implemented this program first they have implemented this uh, program in 184 hpds that is high priority districts make a note make a note hpd means high priority districts they have uh, selected certain high priority districts and uh, as a pilot study and as a initiation of this program these people have initiated this rmnch plus a so what does uh, rmnca rmnch plus a stands for reproductive maternal newborn child and adolescent health strategy this is how we have to remember and you have to pronounce not child health then adolescent reproductive maternal neonate newborn child and adolescent health adolescent tarvata health cheppali hante so what happens in this so it links maternal and child survival to other components like family planning adolescent gender and pndt services so what do you mean by pndt postnatal diagnostic techniques okay so along with uh, reproductive uh, i mean uh, maternal and child survival these components also have been included so what what does this plus denotes what does this plus denotes this is an important viva question for you so external examiner may ask you that 
what does the uh, indication or uh, plus denotes in rmnch h plus a program that means the inclusion of adolescence as a distinct life stage in overall life strategy <coughs> they thought that adolescent health also is a distinctive life stage then uh, linking the community and facility based care as well as referrals between various levels of healthcare system that means between primary to secondary secondary to tertiary tertiary to super speciality hospitals so the the terminology given here is very very important continuum of care approach uh, this is the point where you will get the marks if you write this word you will get the good marks continuum of care approach this is the term coined exclusively for this rmnch plus a so what does it mean continuum of care approach that is you have if you take a adolescent health packages definitely they will land in good reproductive health package then if a mother is reproductively healthy then she antenatally intrapartumly they will be having good health definitely the newborn will be very good definitely postpartum is also healthy and the child is also be healthy up to 5 years of age this is how the package has been uh, given priority that is what is meant by continuum of care approach so adolescent health package it leads to good reproductive health package it leads to antenatal and intrapartum care package the newborn care package obviously postpartum uh, family planning and spacing methods then obviously the under five health package also this is how yeah life stages this is how we have to take care of the things then only based on this strategy we will be able to decrease the uh, maternal mortality rate and uh, under five mortality rate they have uh, uh, turned certain goals by 2017 i don't know whether uh, till we have reached it or not at the beginning of this program they stated that uh, maternal mortality rate should be uh, decreasing 100 per 1 lakh population by 2017 this is the goals for this rmnch plus a program and to decrease the infant mortality rate to 25 per uh, 100 live births by 2017 and to uh, take the total fertility rate to the number uh, point of 2.1 per 100 by 2017 this is the objectives set for this uh, rmnch plus a through this continuum of care approach are you able to follow yes sir Everybody, under Kardamatuna Leda, only some people are responding. Yes, sir. Mm, very good. So, what is the approach as to RMNCH plus A? So by convergence and uh, partnerships, as I already told you, various uh, partnerships has been uh, uh, taken care of uh, in this program. That is uh, between various divisions, other ministries and departments and with the development partners and stakeholders, as you all know. Okay, then a health system, uh, which includes uh, infrastructure, human resources, drugs and uh, commodities and uh, referral transports then packages for uh, interventions 
for various stages in life cycle already uh, in previous slide I, ex I explained continuum of care approach through the all these uh, life cycle i mean various stages of life cycle various uh, packages have been given prioritization then uh, prioritization of uh, investments also that is uh, high priority areas delivery points this is the most important word in entire rmnch plus a delivery points please do remember this word this is a short word for you people delivery points i will explain in a later classes but as of now you remember the word delivery points and then marginalized and hard to reach populations okay then integrated monitoring and accountability scorecard yeah this is also an important uh, strategy which has been implemented in a scorecard system which includes more than 19 years of uh, age female population should be maintaining this scorecard along with the every uh, important life uh, stage at her, in, in her lifetime okay more than 19 years of age they have to go uh, go to uh, nearby phcs uh, or uh, near uh, in their working area asha workers has to be uh, taken care of these adolescent health girls and they have to be registered in a nearby phcs and uh, they have to be given all the uh, education regarding menstrual hygiene this is an important factor why these adolescent people have been included under this strategy means mainly to educate them about menstrual hygiene that is why uh, development uh, establishment of ash clinic a r s h can anybody explain this a r s h clinics ash clinics anyone a r s h Arsh clinic anyone can expand or explain what is this no one that means adolescent reproductive and sexual health clinics please do remember this is an important yeah yeah Maisha, very good adolescent reproductive and sexual health clinic health clinics this is how uh, the importance gain through scorecard then uh, okay grievance addressal performance based incentives to the states these are the approaches to rmnch plus a Ma, remember all these things are very important. Okay, this is the immediate objectives uh, given on uh, 2000 uh, to achieved by 2017. So to achieve uh, MDG, that is a million development goals and the realization of health outcome goals established in 12th five-year plan just as i uh, explained earlier uh, 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 decreasing the infant mortality rate to 25 per uh, thousand live birth and then uh, decreasing the maternal mortality rate to 100 per one lakh population and uh, one lakh population by 2017 and to take the total fertility rate to 2.1 per hundred by 2017 so here see what they have given so overall india so total fertility rate is 2.5 but the target is 2.1 this is how see uh, in uh, child sex ratio is also in according to uh, 2000 
11 sensors, it is 2019 only, but the immediate objective to bring the uh, this child sex ratio is also of 2950. This is the objectives. So I already explained you. So life cycle and uh, continuum of care approach adopted in RMNCH. So first, so you take a adolescent one, then, uh, she will be having good at pregnancy and uh, both mother and child will be having good newborn period and child. This is how the care to the care approach has been adopted in RMNCH. Okay. So across the uh, across levels of care, health facilities at various levels, that is PHEs, first referral units, and district hospitals also, and outreach services, family and uh, home and community care, both in terms of appropriate referral and follow up. See, this is how, this is uh, what I meant to explain this uh, word called continuum of K approach. Ma, are you able to see the slide? Yes, sir. Uh, can anyone uh, explain this slide, this pictogram? Anyone? Just now arrived, Kamalika. Roll number 54. Woman and child health care. Yeah, 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 Jyoti Prakash. Woman and child health care. But can you explain uh, by stage wise? Stage wise, from, so what is that? From uh, adolescent to pre pregnancy stage and then pregnancy, taking care like after the baby is born, infant, child, and then till 14 years. And then once it comes to adolescent, once again taking care, like continuum of care. Like there is a take continuous care from being adolescent to getting a child. Excellent, Ray Gayatri. Excellent. So are you able to understand? Are you able to understand? That is the importance of adolescent health care. That's why this program has been implemented. So it's in a continuous life cycle. Continuous life cycle. That's why firstly, you have to take care of adolescent people. So if you take care of the adolescent health people, definitely they will be having good reproductive phase. Then good pregnancy and postnatal phase. Then the neonates also, will be at good health. Even under five also good, even up to uh, 14 years also, they will be having good health condition. That's why we have to take care of all these stages. That is the, uh, the term means continuum of care approach. My, am I clear? This slide is clear to everyone? Yes, sir. Good. So if you understand this slide, so the remaining will be very, very easy for you people. Let, let go. Then why, why we have to approach three, uh, through this RMNCH plus A strategy? Why means? Key or CH indicators cannot be improved while working in vertical components. Okay, not only to be taken care of pregnant women, not only if you take care of pregnant women, all the maternal mortality will uh, rate uh, will get low. It's an already I explained. It's a continuum. If you take care of all the people in all the life stages, then only 
the all the maternal mortality rate and the infant mortality rate will be coming down that is what is uh, meant by that then adolescent mothers so it's a very very uh, important thing that uh, even uh, in adolescent also uh, the people were getting married and they are getting pregnant so adolescent uh, pregnancy is a kind of complications why because the mother would be having uh, any education regarding these pregnancies or all these things what are uh, going uh, to take place so definitely uh, the delivery will be happening in home definitely she will be more liable to the puerperal infections definitely that will be happening that is why adolescent pregnancy is uh, quite complicated so that's what they said high risk pregnancy and chances of dying are twice than more uh, than women over age 20 if the woman is married uh, in less than 20 years so chances of uh, uh, dying with the complications of pregnancy is twice two times so prevalence of neonatal mortality is uh, 44 54.2 per 1000 live births is very very high in adolescent health was according to nfhs i already explained these things nfhs means national family health survey this is third one in 2005 and 2006 they also stated that adolescent health uh, mother uh, their children is very very prevalent for neonatal mortality that is 54.2 per 1000 live births just imagine very very high so the achievement of goals is therefore linked across the different stages of life that's what we explained that then all these things will be taken care of this is why we have to go for rmnch plus a approach so this is the 5 into 5 matrix interventions kanpadutunnama are you able to uh, see can you appreciate the words yes sir good good so this is a uh, you have to write the term also 5 into 5 matrix intervention so this implemented with high coverage and with high quality high coverage and high quality so in uh, reproductive health the main focus will be on uh, spacing methods particularly post partum intrauterine contraceptive devices in high case load facilities then focus uh, on uh, uh, iuc okay i already told you iuc it is in all facilities including sub centers and yeah, fixed days okay then uh, home delivery of contraceptives that is hdc this is the term which has been gaining the importance hdc home delivery of contraceptives then esbs that is ensuring the ensuring spacing of the birth don't worry all these uh, uh, tables were in your uh, park textbook only please go through all these things then you will uh, be able to understand all these things okay then uh, what are all the uh, things to be taken care in maternal health okay so same so use of amc it is Uh, to ensure early registration of uh, uh, pregnancies that is a uh, maternal and the child tracking system mcts means maternal and child tracking system through score card mch card then uh, okay giving uh, iron and folic acid supplementation then uh, food also uh, take home ration is now also presented under this icds project where antenatal and postnatal mothers have been uh, given food 
then uh, ensuring uh, delivery points to be access to every nook and corner of the place okay the people uh, should have the re, uh, i mean access to to these delivery points these delivery points have been uh, classified into three uh, systems that is l1 l2 l3 previously i uh, told to remember the word called delivery points so this is the base for this so delivery points means you go anywhere in your uh, this or uh, in your uh, part of this geographical area up to certain uh, health areas you have to establish delivery points that has been uh, classified into three uh, status that is l1 l2 l3 l1 means at least three deliveries should be taking place l2 means a minimum of 10 delivery should take place along with the taken care of the complications then l3 means more than 30 uh, deliveries uh, are along with the cesarean sections this is how they have been classified these uh, health facilities delivery points that is l1 l2 l3 this is an important short notes for you people delivery points have to remember delivery points l1 l2 l3 l1 minimum of 3 l2 minimum of 10 along with the complications should be taken care of l3 more than 30 deliveries along with the cesarean section that is what is the importance of delivery points in maternal health then review of uh, all these antenatal uh, intranatal uh, neonatal all this uh, uh, health tracking system then uh, newborn health so newborn health is also an important parcel of this rmnch plus a so through early registration through exclusive breastfeeding home based newborn care through asha this is also an important short notes for you people home based newborn care hbnc make a note then essential newborn care and uh, resuscitation services in all delivery points then uh, special newborn care units where uh, nicus will be established uh, then community level uh, uh, approach will be taken care by the ANMs. Okay, so this is newborn matrix. Then what about child health matrix? So uh, feeding, complementary feeding and iron folic acid uh, distribution supplementation, diarrhea control of diarrheal diseases, control of pneumonia. All these things are very important. Full immunization coverage okay and rbsk all these uh, programs also screening of children for the four days that is uh, birth defects developmental delays deficiencies and the area this is nr disease 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 management so this is a very very important four days under RBSK, Rashtriya Bala Swastha Karekramam. This is also an important short notes for you people. This is the child health matrix. Then adolescent health matrix. So what to be taken care of with the adolescent health. So addressing the teenage pregnancies and increasing the this is contraceptive prevalence in adolescence. Ah, 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 ah. Contraceptive prevalence in adolescence. Why? Because in adolescence age only, uh, people will become sexually very, very active through various uh, physiological conditions. So people won't get to know all these contraceptive things. They don't know how they will get pregnant, how the process of uh, conception takes place. 
okay due to lack of knowledge only the the teenage pregnancies happening so what happens with teenage pregnancies definitely they will land in twice the death when compared to the more than 20 years of age due to complications of pregnancy why because their birth canal may not be prepared at yet fully they are not uh, ready uh, psychologically and uh, physiologically and physically enough amount of uh, hemogram also won't be there and they will be having a, a, what do you call that uh, abortion they tend to go for abortion through illegal methods why because they don't know that uh, they can avail mdp services at phc level also due to stigmas so what will uh, the community will think of us so due to that uh, people go for illegal abortions through abortion stakes eating of uh, certain fruits uh, remaining certain things uh, inserting of uh, certain abortion sticks into their uterus the highly 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 impossible illegal activities that's why maternal mortality rate is still prevalent in our country still prevalent why because due to illegal abortions they will go to an rmp and pmp they will uh, say that sir this happened this happened this happened so without knowing anything rmp also will plan for uh, certain kind of uh, uh, this thing so surgical procedures or uh, he will uh, this uh, write a mtp kit or go for illegal abortions that's why we have to take care of the adolescent group of population then introduced uh, community based services and then uh, strengthen the ars clinic just now i told you ars clinics adolescent reproductive and sexual health clinic okay then uh, okay iron plus initiative including weekly iron folic acid supplementation and promote menstrual hygiene also we have to explain the menstrual physiology to the adolescent health people so what do you mean by fertile period what do you mean by contraception period okay non fertile period how we have to uh, know that whether we are in this period or we are in the free phase period menstrual period pre menstrual period we have to explain all these things to adolescent people and regarding menstrual hygiene also how to use napkins how to uh, safe disposable of these napkins how to uh, how we have to get access to the high quality of napkins freely if at all uh, any uh, doubts were there how to approach health facilities how to refer these people all these things were included in adolescent health then only she will become good at reproductive period then only she will become good at uh, uh, pregnancy then uh, postpartum the child will be good and under five also good even uh, preschool school education is all um, school uh, age also the people will i mean a child will be having good health along with the mother that is what is uh, these interventions called as 5 into 5 matrix for high impact rmnch plus a intervention ma clear ee slide ardham kavali meeku are we clear yes sir yes boy ఏంట్రా ఇవంతా మాకు సంబంధం లేదని ఊరుకున్నారా ఏంటి వెదర్ యూ మేల్ ఆర్ ఫిమేల్ యూ ఎంటర్డ్ ఇన్ ప్రొఫెషన్ ఆఫ్ ఎంబీబీఎస్ సో యూ హ్యావ్ టు నో ఆల్ దీస్ థింగ్స్ 
ఓన్లీ అమ్మాయిలు చదువుకుంటే చాలే మనకేం అవసరం లేదులే మనం ఎండి గైనకాలజీ చేస్తామా ఎంఎస్ ఆప్షటిక్స్ చేస్తామా అనుకోకండి దిస్ ఈజ్ ఫర్ ఎంబీబీఎస్ నాలెడ్జ్ ఓన్లీ బట్ ఇఫ్ యు ఆర్ అవార్డెడ్ విత్ ఎంబీబీఎస్ డిగ్రీ యు హ్యావ్ టు నో ఆల్ దీస్ థింగ్స్ దీనికేమి పీజీ నాలెడ్జ్ అవసరం లేదు అబ్బాయిలు ఒక్కరు కూడా రియాక్షన్ చూపించలేదు సో ఆర్ వీ క్లియర్ సోఫార్ then this uh, health system strengthening and uh, cross cutting interventions also is there do not worry about all these things please do remember uh, these 5 into 5 matrix reproductive maternal newborn child and adult center. so at these stages what are all the things to be taken care of all these things okay this is how uh, you have to remember and uh, all these uh, things will fetch you a very very good marks and uh, viva point of view also these things are very important so and these are the list of minimum essential commodities to be available at a certain age so during a reproductive health tubal rings iucd 380a iucd 375 oral contraceptive pills like malayan condoms emergency contraceptive pills that is levana just it's a 0.5 mg not uh, 1.5 mg 0.25 micrograms they have been given nowadays so pregnancy testing kits that is a niche then maternal health injection of oxytocin tablet misoprostol injection of maxelf and tablet uh, mefepristone so uh, why we have to use uh, injection oxytocin as part how it helps oxytocin చెప్పాలి కైతాలజీ వాట్ ఈస్ ఇండికేషన్ ఆఫ్ ఆక్సిటోసిన్ ఇంజెక్షన్ హౌ ఇట్ విల్ హెల్ప్ ఫర్ మెటర్నల్ హెల్త్ మెటర్నల్ ఐ మీన్ డెలివరింగ్ మదర్ యా ఇట్స్ అండ్ ఇట్ రన్ రిలాక్స్ అండ్ యా వెరీ గుడ్ ఇట్ విల్ అవాయిడ్ అండ్ అఫ్ ద బర్త్ కెన్ టు ఎన్షూర్ safe delivery free delivery why misoprostol why misoprostol why mgs for four maxel yeah to control clamshia very good re guy three very good so mefepristone along with the misoprostol used for uh, medical termination of pregnancies and uh, maxelf is a drug of choice in case of eclampsia very good then uh, regarding uh, newborn health injection of vitamin k mucus extractor vaccines like uh, bcg oral polio and hepatitis b and uh, regarding childbirth Uh, oral rehydration uh, salt or solution zinc uh, uh, supplementation and uh, syrup salbutamol all these uh, related things uh, vaccines like dpt measles along with the uh, vitamin a supplementation and for adolescent health tablet albendazol tablet uh, dicyclamine and access to high quality sanitary napkins these are the minimum essential commodities to ensure this program have been going smoothly so cross cutting command commodities as per level of facility and the based on facility these things have uh, has to be uh, indented 
in that facilities that is iron folic acid and uh, IFA syrups tablets like paracetamol trimethoprim and uh, sulfamethoxazole that is uh, then chloroquine an injection of uh, dexamethasone antibiotics like amphicillin metronidazole moxicillin injection gentamicin injection ceftriaxone so clinical and digital thermometers weighing machines bp apparatus stopwatches uh, cold boxes vaccine carriers oxygen ambu bags bag and mask testing for hemoglobin urine and blood sugar all these are cross cutting commodities based on the uh, type of facility these things should be there at the hospital this is the uh, essential commodities and uh, this is the coverage of key interventions across the life stages so this is uh, somewhat uh, statistics given by our uh, government of india mm. so this is how uh, we aimed i already told you uh, they have selected a 184 uh, high priority districts so to achieve 12th five year plan target set by the planning commission so uh, five year plan targets are i already told you reduction of uh, infant mortality rate to 25 per thousand live births then uh, the reduction of maternal mortality rate to 100 per 1 lakh and uh, to bring up the total fertility rate to 2.1 by the year 2017 and by intensifying the efforts uh, uh, how we up, uh, reach these objectives through improved RMNC plus outcomes and uh, adapting this standardized approach and a harmonized action involving all international partners and stakeholders. Okay. So these are the three critical interventions and identifying the deputy commissioners as mentors and harmonizing the technical assistance of developmental partners and involving medical colleges also. That's how all these programs have been taken place. Uh, like you people attended the SVV. Okay. You get the time on the Babu? Okay. In next class, uh, we will deal with uh, how, uh, uh, what are the goals and objectives reached till now we have reached through rmnch plus a and what are all the research have been going on uh, this rmnch so what are the key steps this intensification plan okay and how this health system is strengthening and uh, how the gaps has been uh, uh, filled all these things will be explained in next class up to clear clear so far up to now you have certain idea <laughs> of rmnch plus a okay okay clear all of you yes sir yeah the slogan is that now, Babu, Cyber Go. 11:30 के एल्स पे ना वाह. सरे. अटेंडेंस अंदर बेटर क्या था? Okay, thanks for listening. And take care of yourselves. Hope uh, we'll uh, meet face to face very soon. Okay. Thank you, everyone. Uh, you can leave.
thank you everyone thank you please uh, keep your uh, attendance you can leave